and loosen these bolts. Two at one time if you're a pro. If you're not a pro, one at a time. Don't hurt yourself. It's real ugly around here. You bring that four way back out. You're spinning it. Good spin. Good spin. Good spin. So we're gonna move all this junk out the way to secure the car the rest of the way so that it doesn't fall on you while you're working on it. Just like a second jig, it won't fall to the ground. So, these are the two screws. Can you see? Hmm. Come up. These are the two screws. That is one, and that right there is two to take off your caliber, not your bracket. If you want to remove your bracket, you remove this screw and the screw right below. This is your brake line. This is your rotor, and this is your ball bearing and studs. So we're gonna continue by what the hell? Okay. using this five and 15 and 30 second ratchet socket. We'll try to break this bolt which is going to be the opposite for this side of the vehicle. Mm. Yep, the opposite. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now that that screw is broken, we can now break the bottom screw. I do not use PB blades on breaking the screw. Just pearls. Oh. And sometimes it can get really oh. difficult to get these bolts off. All right, there we go. Once you break them, you can hand loosen these bolts. Something. And you can change your brakes for about $26 on even a BMW by following this method right here. Okay, now that you have your screws removed, you can take this off, which is the caliber and not the bracket, which can be very tight. You want to take that and sit that there. You want to take this old brake and you want to take off this old brake. And you're going to use one of these old brakes to push in the caliber, which is this. It's out. So you want to push that all the way back in with new brakes with this tool, and it's called a C clamp. And they don't cost that much. And we do this method so that way we will not have to bleed the brakes after changing. And I will have another video coming to you on my next brake job. How to fix a caliber that is frozen, that won't move, depending on your new brakes. You guys can see my caliber went in pretty good. So I'm gonna take that old brick out of there and I'll put these new ones right on, right in position, very easily. Bam! That's one, and the second one goes in the back. 
make sure this side faces that way or you will be driving with one backward back brake pad but that's not going to sound too good when you start to drive after that you would then put your caliber back on the bracket and push these little two things in so that they line back up with the bracket itself find the screws which I throw any damn where because I don't give a flying s-h-i-t yeah me <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a flying dookie so now that I got these back on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ratchet to make my job a lot easier Tighten these screws back up to the proper torque. Now, when you torque your brakes, you don't have to really tighten them a lot because the heat will expand, causing the metal to expand, causing it very hard to get off for the next time they are changed. So, a nice snug, that snug would do. Nothing really hard. And that's it. So, after we do that, we remove our safety tire. And we get this tire on as fast as possible. Just in case any emergencies come about. Like your car falling to the ground. So, we then screw in a couple bolts as much as possible to secure the vehicle from falling at any moment. At this moment, the car will not fall. No matter what. And you always torque your screws in a pattern. I'm about to show you how to do that. This is to make sure that your wheel is all the way lined up with all the other components on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and start this one off. And then we're going to go ahead down here. This cross screw. So now that we did that one, we can come up here to the top or we can go to the bottom. And now that we did that one, we would go here to this one. And then after we do that one, we would go here. And then we will cross again. To make sure that none of these screws have got loose. So, once it gets on the ground, 